Imagine being so unfathomably ugly. Imagine being so difficult to look at that the only other person you know in this world wants to blind themselves at the sight of you. Right, there's only one person to blame for your hideous face, though, Rick Blade. Those goddamn Arcotex. Hello there, and welcome to Base Game Remod, a series necessary for me to reconnect with what makes this game so great, a series necessary for me to get perspective on things, a series grounded and down to earth. So we're going to punch God. As a lot of you very clever, oh, so big brain people said in the comment section yesterday, this isn't strictly base game Rimwald because I have facial animation and uh, so the camera zooms down further and Rocket Man. So I've ruined the whole thing. Really, we should probably restart. Codex, the Arcotex spy betrayed by the Arcotex, wants revenge. And who can really blame him? He saw through space and time, maybe only very briefly, saw those Arcotex and was punished for it. But now... Now he wants his powers back. I don't think I've played a totally blind sight colony before, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not entirely... Hello? There's a man hunting squirrel out there. It's given up. False alarm. You don't need to go near it. I mean, just in case, though. You can never be too sure. Yesterday, we saved a child from a werewolf. The problem is no one can raise this child because Codex is incapable of social. I mean, really, we've just got to roll the dice and hope this kid doesn't come out a, a terrible, awful human being. That's the best I can offer you. Now, this is base game remod, and we are going to need some sort of... I'm not going to say kill box. I'm not going to say kill box, but I'm going to say some sort of effective uh, quadrilateral defense system. <laughs> Patent pending. Transport pod crash. Hello. Combat medic, my friend. Well, we've got Rick Blade. We can potentially recruit someone. That potentially, though, is doing a lot of heavy lifting. He's not exactly the uh, social expert we need right now. Hello. You, though, aren't either. Oh, for God's sake. A construction of seven. I suppose it's better than no one. It was better than no one. Fine, get them grabbed. You can't spot tend in the base game. Oh, well, they're, they're dead then, because I'm not going to get them home before they bleed out. Oh, ridiculous. Rick Blade, no. Oh, for God's sake. Rick Blade says he won't forget what you've done, and we'll never forget you, Rick Blade, you hideous piece of shit. Goodbye, Rick. Goodbye. Well, there goes any hope we had of recruiting a new person. Zoodles, you're going to be waiting a long time for a teacher to turn up. Codex doesn't care. Codex really just does not care. Forced weather. Oh my god, you're gonna give me three advanced components in exchange for a fog? Well, you drive a hard bargain. That's the easiest deal of my goddamn life. It's already foggy. And when our only defense is a tremendous amount of spike traps. Oh god, hold on. My whole ideology is about being blind and I'm using spike traps. It seems like I'm <laughs> it seems like an awful, awful idea. Codex, what's going on? Have you gone full gamer? What did I tell you about having a shower? No explicit all functions. Oh, it's killing me. Oh, this game's killing me. Okay, well, Zoodles, I've got a job for you. Zoodles, get to work. Codex is far too busy for this. Oh, the kid's throwing up too. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's vomit everywhere. Oh, immolator, is it? You seem friendly. Um, I mean, I can't exactly recruit you, so I don't know why I'm looking. Eventually, Zoodles will be, will be able to do some social. They're not incapable of social. It's just they can't do social because they're too young right now. You just got to hold on a little bit longer. You'll be okay. You very quickly get these traps set up. You hide in here. It's all fine. We, for, we're going to be untouchable for a long, long time. Well, we've only got... What the hell was that? Well, we've only got one colonist. We have nothing to worry about. Perfect. And yes, I did give Zoodles a knife. Oh, and here comes Immolator now. Get Immolated, idiot. Oh, I could have used the flame bow. Then I could have said that. I mean, on the... Plus, I didn't burn down the entire base, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. Right, let's put this on the to-do list. Uh, the metaphorical to-do list, that is. I don't actually have one this time. Find a better cook. Turns out you're just terrible. Codex's voice has a particularly gracing nasal quality to it. He tends to talk in barked, garbled phrases. Uh, well, that's going to be very helpful when everybody's blind then, isn't it? We're so close to getting the research finished. Ah. Uh... Uh, no, okay, finish the buildings, get the storage set up, throw in a passive cooler so the potatoes last till the end of time, get some very, very basic defenses, by which I mean we'll build a wall and we'll put a spike trap by it, that will at least slow down one or two people, and we just get the child to punch this extremely dangerous, highly explosive mechanoid remains. Start, oh, I got a sore throat, I really can't be doing Jar Jar right now. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, like doing impressions of Jar Jar, not like doing Jar Jar. Ow, ow, give it to me, sir, ow. <laughs> Ah, run! Run, you stupid child! No, don't have a picnic! <laughs> I just threw myself off with that impression of Jar Jar. Oh, Jesus. Live your life. <laughs> Mind your own business. Oh, don't be ill. It makes you say terrible things that you can't take back. Oh, Master Jedi! Mr. No have a da mm. I don't know what's happening. You'd have to worry about it. It's, it's the curse of base game, Rimworld. 
There's there's no there's only like a like a, like a sensible level of insanity occurring in base game Rimworld, and that's very much not what I'm used to on my daily basis anymore. Oh. Well, I made a terrible mistake. I was going to say wait for that fire to peter out, and then we'll go collect it. It never will peter out because we've got Force Fog for however many days. Okay, Art Codex, firmly grasp it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Staddle. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. There you are. Perfect. Now, I trust that you're going to be able to path through that fire. That's a dangerous path, but you know what? I like it. I like it. That's a path with some chest hair. Now, if we summon this, it's going to bring down a militer or a scyther. Oh, God, a scyther. Shit. Uh, I don't think we can kill that. I could build a maze and we could lure it through the anti-scyther maze. Unless it lands like here, at which point we we die. Unless we just summon it and we hope that nature takes its course. Raiders turn up, a trade caravan turns up. That's perfect. They're not going to attack me immediately, right? Oh, no. Well, that's very chilly and I haven't got any way to make clothes. Luckily, we've got plenty of... Soiled lizard skin pants. New from Codex's Junk Emporium. Pre-shitted pants. We don't need that. Well, we've got the flame bow, so worst case scenario, we can light Zoodles on fire. Oh! Witwan. Send the, send the Scyther. Send the Scyther. Where's Witwan? Hello. Show me. Show me. Hello there. Where's the Mechanator ship? Oh! Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful occasion. Fight. 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 Oh, he's attacking the axe. I claimed it. Oh, are you ready for some big brain moves here? I claimed it just to see if you could uninstall it, because I wasn't sure in the base game whether or not they were uninstallable. I mean, they're not any other time, so I don't know why I expected that. But if I if I create, like, a path of claimed items, I wonder if they'll cross paths. No. You're going completely the opposite direction. Wait. Has the Scyther seen him? The Scyther's seen him. He's seen the Scyther. Sometimes I am astounded by my own genius. Who's going to win? I'd rather fight him than the Scyther, because I know our traps will work on work on the Wolfman. He's made of very squishy things. You've rubbed dirt in his eye. Pocket sand. Okay, then. Well, we guess we're fighting the Scyther, then. To be fair, the Scyther is almost dead. If I send the kid in as bait to drag it over a couple of traps, mechanoid attack. Oh, they're just going to attack, then, are they? Oh, okay. I mean, that's that's fine. That's fine. It saved me getting out of bed too much. Here. Um, oh, I put the traps in the other building. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Zoodles, carry that spike trap over. Codex, carry the other one. Major break risk. Codex, why? Why? What's wrong with you? Cold? Hypothermia. Serious. Uh, maybe shut your fucking door. I, I'm not here to tell your own business. Maybe build a campfire, actually, in your living room. Royal Ascent. Royal Ascent? No, I don't need bloody royal ascent. Get the hell out of here. I wanted the royal to turn up that was being attacked so that we could save them and get a silent neuroformer, but it never happened. It just never occurred. Right, Zoodles, you're going to fight the Scyther, and Codex is going to stand back. Because realistically, if Zoodles dies, uh, we can carry on. Oh, God, but if Codex dies... Oh, it's big brain time. Okay, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't seem to understand. I'm going to need you to go away. I cannot believe how far this is spread. We do a little something like that, and I think that should cut back enough that we shouldn't be bothered by it anymore. Doodles, let's grab this medicine, because Codex, as soon as possible, could do with a new leg. He gets minus 10 permanently because of that damn stab scar. The second we get a trader or anything useful at all, I'm capitalizing on that. Oh, the cold snap is over. The bad news is, so is Codex. He's given up. He's given up. I, I can't keep him happy all the time. I keep seeing rotting corpses. I can't help that. There's people attacking us. I can't do anything about the pain. I can't do anything about the fact that he's not blind. He's just going to have to suck it up for a little while. He's just going to have to deal with it. Suck it up just like Jar Jar did. Thank you. 40 catharsis will keep us going for absolutely ages. Now back to that mech link. Thank you. And here we have it. Mech link. Constructoid. Constructoid is great. That's exactly what I was after. Oh, amazing. Right. And then, because otherwise, what was it? Like a cleaning bot? I don't want a fucking cleaning bot. We take you off of construction entirely. And then we get this little robot around taking apart all the crash ships, taking apart all the, the regular crash ships and the ship chunks. Now, because it's so cold, all Codex has to do is research and cook meals. That's it. With a double passion and intellectual as well. He's going to be fine. I'm never going to have to worry about you again. We can just sit this on autopilot. Oh, dear. That winter crop's not looking very good, is it? 21 potatoes. Well, I guess we're going to get some hunting practice in soon. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Zoodles, get the knife ready. Zoodles, get the knife ready. We've got a very angry muffalo charging him down. Bleeding bl bl out 17 hours. That's okay. Just lock the door. Hold the door open. Lock the door. Everybody will be fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Codex. Codex. Get indoors. Get indoors. Get indoors. Lock the door. Shut the door. Okay. Not a problem. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs>We are delicious muffalo. Cannot cook simple meal times four. Missing two raw food. 
Now, I thought I played this game quite a significant amount. It's in the stockpile. But you just won't cook. What the hell's going on with that? <laughs> okay. Make some for meal. Do until we've got... I don't know. Do until we've got four paws and we've got one. Whatever. That's fine. And then, prioritize cooking. Thank you. Who knows what the hell was going on with that? Yeah. Yeah, dog. We got that flow. Because here's the thing. This is what Big Power doesn't want you to know. If you research solar panels and batteries, they're selling you twice as much stuff when all you need... It's a lovely geothermal generator. Get that shit out of here. Is the child too young to be put into the mines? Child, are you allowed to mine yet? Are you, are you too young? It's ridiculous. Mining work can only be done from age seven. That's the spirit. <laughs> no! We can't build the geothermal generator. <laughs> oh, God. Um, right, I mean, I wasn't the end of the world, because I did expect we could take apart some... Steel walls and whatnot, and now we've got my little my little pal, the Constructoid. This should be easy. It'll be fine. Don't panic. For God's sake, I thought it was the Royal Quest, but it's another desperate nomad. To be fair, if I was nobility, I probably wouldn't run into the awaiting arms of Codex, the annoying voiced at that time naked man for help. So I get it. Okay, I understand. It would take a nomad. Manabu. <gasps> Manabu has six social double passion for it. Oh my God, and he's got good construction as well. He can mine. Oh, well, this is perfect. Welcome, Manabu. Were you being chased by? Sorry, did you say you were being chased by something? So we can rest and regroup. Oh, no, that's fine. Ooh, Barracuda. <laughs> that was accidentally the best thing I've ever done. We'll never do social. Right, Manabu, if you could, if you could have a quick chat with these people, see if they've got anything useful for us. What the fucking hell was he? All the way on the other side of the map. Hello there. Uh, Neutroamine could be very useful. Advanced components. Uh, no, thank you. We're good. Plasteels. I can put insanity lancers. Probably learn how to use these after 8,000 hours. That couldn't hurt. The insanity lancers, if you find the Empire, is if I sort of get out of jail. Free card, isn't it? What would, what would I sell you, though? What would I sell you? I mean, I'd really love a donkey for a beast of burden. Oh, god damn. Uh, here, look. I'll trade you. Oh, I've got nothing. I don't even know why I'm looking. I've got nothing to offer you people. Pollution pilers. Pollution p pollution pillars? I'm not really sure how that goes. Um, hey, I'm not really bothered. We could potentially try and recruit that. Have you got good social, please? No. No. Actually nothing. A lazy wimp. It's a genie. It's a genie. I don't think we've got to worry about this. I feel like this is a problem that kind of solves itself. Yep, that'll that'll probably do it. Thank you. Donkey's going to take care of it. No, Manabu. Manabu. Manabu, my friend. Thank you for bringing a club. I mean, we can't outrun it, so we might as well just stand our ground. It's the best thing we can do. You might as well try and get the first hit in. Manabu. Nice, good hit. Manabu. Oh, God. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Come on! Come on! Manabu! This is the worst thing I've ever seen. I could send Codex in to save him. I don't think it's going to happen. I won't lie. I don't think that's going to happen at all. Yep, that'll probably do it. Brilliant. Well, easy come, easy go. These things happen, I suppose. It wasn't my colonist. <laughs> and on the plus side, this is awful. You mined enough steel so that we can build this. Oh! My constructoid's down. Well, that's okay. Maybe we'll get enough steel that we can... We can do both? Maybe we can just do both here? If you botch this, I swear to God, Codex, I will botch you. Oh. Go! Okay, that's good. Relatively unlimited power. All we need is mech recharger. Do you have to do research for mech rechargers? You've given me a burden. This is not a gift. This is a burden. Mech recharger. There we are. Wait, we need some food. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get distracted here. We need some snackies for my people. Okay, Codex, be careful. Be careful, little Codex. It's good training. Okay, it's good shooting training. It's probably all he's going to be able to do every day. You're going to take that to the stockpile automatically. Damn, I've played some modded playthroughs that don't even do that. Leave it on the damn floor. Greetings, it is I, Gnugfer. Okay, it's not quite... It's not quite the same, is it? 18 melee double passion. Oh, well, you are a gigolo, so that makes sense. Strablon damage, you know what I'm saying? What are you doing with that? Are you coming into my house to eat your meal? I didn't invite you in. I suppose you're not a vampire, so... You're not a vampire, Gnogfa. You're just fucking rude. You're just fucking rude. Cows join! Hello! I didn't realize they'd added my ex-wife to RimWorld. <laughs> I don't have an ex-wife. Someone in the comments said that I was 32 the other day. What the fuck's wrong with you? Do I sincerely sound that out of touch that you think I'm 32? Maybe it's the years of YouTube. They've aged me prematurely. It's because I got my shit together and pulled myself up by the bootstraps and worked 18 hours a day for the past four years solid and did a tremendous amount of damage to my mental and physical health so that I could have a dog and a house. Doesn't mean I'm an old ass man. I mean, biologically, yes, I'm probably on the verge of falling into my grave any day now. Rude people. 
Rude, rude people. Cow one is pergonant. We could be a farmer. Are you a good farmer? You got any animals handling skill? Four. Um... Okay, let's bring that, let's pen up the cows. All right, you know, we'll just put a fence across here. This is the way I thought this series was going. This is, this is very generic still, currently. But as soon as we get somebody capable of social, as soon as we start getting some, uh, some people involved. Oh my god, we've got just enough to cover that up. Well, that's very convenient. So we're taking apart, like, shit like that was up here. Have you actually hauled all to the stockpile, too? Oh! Legendary behavior! I thought Codex would be running halfway across the map just to build a fence for the cows. Codex is actually very glad that Manabu died. Good. I'm, I'm glad. If you're glad, Codex, I'm glad. You didn't exactly have a good experience with Rick Blade when they were here. Leich? Leich? Leich's psychic drone? Hello. Ten-year-old child. No, this isn't a daycare! This isn't like a fucking primary school to you! Psychic drone for 5.5 days reducing the mood of all females. Well, when you put it like that. But if ten is bigger than seven, and seven is when they can mine. Ah. You are an imp. Oh my god. Leich the child. Welcome, 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 welcome. You'll be going to be best friends with my other child. Well, the ideology is all over the place, isn't it? We'll solve that. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. Don't you worry. Somebody capable of wardening. Oh, my God. <laughs> Save the playthrough. Gods be praised. In fact, you are an incredible animal handler and chef. So I might swap you over, or at least you've got a passion in it, right? Um, at this point, we've got nobody to teach the children unless the teacher can, uh, ch ch teach and can children one another. What? Unless the children can teach one another, I think the best thing to do is probably put them to work so they start gaining some valuable life skills. I mean, can they teach one another? Uh, I can't imagine they would, but it's very possible. They, they are on childcare, look. Care for a baby or child of the colony. How bizarre. I mean, they're not not learning, because I'm just setting them on, on recreation all day, floor drawing, that type of thing. We're going to need another campfire, then, for Leech the Child. This is a long burn playthrough. <laughs> it's a long burn short playthrough. Basic mech tech. Right, let's get that friggin' robot back online. Please don't eat the raw meat. Hey, that's my rat meat. What are you doing with that? Are we going to have to go hunt some more friggin' animals now? This is impossible. I've, I've given us an impossible playthrough. I hate naked brutality. Mech recharge. Okay, let's throw one of those um, right there. Right right there. And then we just put a roof over the frigging thing. And there goes the last of our resources. Look, we've got a child that can get us some more now. Perfect. And then can we carry that mech to the recharger? We're allowed to do that, right? Uh, prioritize hauling. Yes. Perfect. Zoodles has grown. Sweet zoodles, finally. Thank God for that. Nudist, sanguine, night owl, or hard worker. Oh my God. Global work speed 20%. Sanguine is a permanent mood effect. Sanguine is better, in my opinion. So I think I'm going to roll with that just to keep you as happy as possible for as long as possible. Good. What's leech like? Oh, you're also sanguine. Oh, well, this is good. All the kids in the colony are going to be super happy. You're also industrious. You are amazing. Those are like two of the best traits in the game. <laughs> and then there's Codex. <laughs> That's okay. You'll get there one day. You'll punch God in the face. More ship chunks. Damn, the base game is generous with that, huh? <gasps> A dead rat! Sometimes it's really nice just to have these down-to-earth, grounded stories. No mad psychic powers. No vampire empire. No bucko drink. Though, maybe soon, bucko drink. God, I miss him. Hosting a logger! <laughs> Okay. Um, they want to join us. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not a refugee. It's just somebody who wants to live at the colony for 21 days. They will not do any work. Uh, right. Well, that's a problem because we haven't got any fucking food. So isn't that some shit? Maybe you go be hosted elsewhere. Cargo pods. They are filled with packaged survival meals, aren't they? Oh, insect jelly. Hey, I mean, it's not amazing. It's kind of what I asked for. Night cut through the mountain. Though it's a security nightmare if I do so, we can't get to any of the stuff on this side conveniently. It takes them all bloody day to get over there. So I might just like... I'll just do like one of those and... Oh, my ball, what happened? Died of the flu. Died of the fucking flu? You gave me animals with the flu? Oh, well, we've got another cow. If it's born male, we can keep it going. Sadly, delicious flu steaks. And what would improve our quality of life here in Codex's base? Maybe some coolers. Maybe some coolers are a good idea. Maybe some heaters are a good idea. Maybe both cow one has given birth. Male cow. Yes! I mean, horrible, horrible in concept. Oh, look at how crispy they are. <laughs> oh, God. Coolers and heaters. Ah, very good point. Um, a dedicated kitchen cookery room would be really nice. Because right now I've got a, a, a bedroom, a kitchen, research, chess room all in the same room. So let's build another building. I do love doing that after all. Oh, steak and milk. What a delicious meal. Now, my friends, is I hope the final meal cooked on a campfire. Because voila! Kitchen codex. Oh, we need a better name than that. Well, Codex isn't going to be our chef forever. It's going to be Leech, because Leech has a passion in it. Also, they're an imp. 
And I think, oh, and look at that. Oh, I thought that was a cloche. You know, like a like, like what butlers do have. Turns out it was a spiky helmet. I think it's supposed to be a spiky helmet. Or a spiky cloche. Oh, so the point I'm getting at is it's going to be our chef eventually. It's going to take a lot of training, but they'll get there. They're industrious. We'll relocate this graveyard because actually this is hideous and in a very inconvenient place. We can put it over here. Put it over here by the kill box and everybody... Uh, not kill box, sorry. Not kill box. Uh, it's, a, it's just simply a... It's not even a box. It's just two walls. It's our murder lean-to. <laughs> Work Frenzy Codex. Oh, because he's in such a good mood. Oh, because he's in such a... Oh, it's our dead cougar. Give me that. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Uh, well, I mean, it won't be. It won't be for a while because we've still got to get this damn kitchen set up. Uh, power cable. Power... Oh, no underground power cables. No! What? Aesthetically frightening, isn't it? Aesthetically unacceptable. Ah, oh, shit. Who decided this was a good idea? Okay, I'll just do something like that. I know we don't need to build that many power cables, but it's for my own sanity at this stage. Oh, God. <laughs> Am I going to go mad before we even get close to the Arco Nexus? With one? For God's sake, just let me build a damn kitchen. It's been d months. Ooh, hello there. Social A, double passion, employable, professional. Well, take him alive. We can take them alive. I uh, <laughs> love that we've got the children hauling rocks as big as them. <laughs> morally, morally, obviously not a nice thing to do. Here's the thing. Codex does not care. Like, are actually incapable of caring. Zoodles of debate. Zoodles of debate. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, it's a bad day to be you. Oh, it's a bad day to be you. Children on either side, please. Nice. We actually got them alive. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, where am I going to put them? Where am I gonna put them? I mean, this room's kind of warm because it's got the it's got the torch in there, so I suppose that'll do. There you go. Oh, this is fantastic. You can do warning light, right? Because you, we've got it. We've actually done it. We've broken through. Fuck! No! <laughs> no, you, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> okay, okay. Kill them. Kick them out. I'm all right with that. Uh, Leech is our best doctor. We're doomed. We're absolutely doomed. It's good medical training, if nothing else. You gotta look at the bright side here. It's good medical training. You get a little social training when we kick them out of the base. Goodbye. We could enslave them. That doesn't seem like... Codex, I want to naturally progress to either the point of insanity or the point of more sanity than what we've got going on right now. No longer in careful walking. Kick them out. Kick them out. We might be able to... Can we ally with them? They're not a permanently hostile faction, right? Uh, which one? Yes, they are. Okay, well, it's either that or I keep them here and I feed them, which I really also cannot do. Goodbye. Get out. Tell your friends you got beat up by a child. Ooh, hello. Oh, goodbye. You made it through winter and I didn't even notice. Great. Amazing. The only thing that tipped me off was the fact that berry bushes were already growing. Oh, well, that was easy. Man, I forgot what it's like playing on an actual temperate map and not constant freezing cold. Do you mean you can... Oh. You mean you can actually grow crops? That's insane. Sorry, all rats or a rat? And rat. One, two, two rats at the very minimum. I think just two rats. We can deal with two rats. Zoodles, get your knife. Here they come. Here they come. Defend your father. Defend Codex. Oh, shit. It's a great way to start some sort of, like, crazy zealot cult, though. Just indoctrinate children. I'm debating whether or not to use a fire spray, but I feel like it's... <laughs> That's a horrendous idea. Just go punch that rat. You'll be fine. Good shit. Oh, good shit. Children warriors. Children warriors. Fight. Fight and kill. They're doing amazing work. Leech got hit. Leech got hit, but this is fine. Dinner is served. Well done. Okay, well, I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna brave that one. I think we're okay. Leech, Leech, run back to the spike trap, Leech. You'll be fine. Yeah, bring it on, you fox bitch. Can you install that fast? Yeah, go, 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 go. Nice. And step in there. And then it dies horribly, and then we get some more lunch. Hey! I'm gonna learn to not press speed four, because holy shit is that quick in the base game. Good God. Get to work. Father Codex needs some steel. Oh, do you think he's the type of guy who would make a cult of personality? Does he seem like that kind of lunatic fast learner? Psychically sensitive? I mean, if he goes mad enough having... He, he worked with an Arcotech. So I can't imagine he's the most mentally stable guy. Beings beyond human comprehension. I feel like it's probably marred him a little bit. This is actually shit. It's taking you children all night just to mine some steel. You didn't even finish. That was, that was pathetic. I think certainly some defenses would come in handy now, huh? I think that's got to be the next thing we go for. Let's chuck out some turrets, if you don't mind. What do we need before turrets? Blowback operation. What do we need before blowback or gunsmithing? What do we need mini machining? For that, we need smithing. Oh, my God. But hey, the build base aspect of things is looking quite nice, huh? It's very basic, okay? I, I, I'm working with what I've got, which is to say... 
two blocks right now. I can put down some columns, I suppose. Oh, and look at this. Actual food for the stockpile. It seemed tremendously good. I mean, these are children, right? You're happy because you've got a knife. <laughs> teeny, teeny, tiny, adorable pussycats. Hello. Two of them, in fact. Two of them? Is that all? Really? I suppose our colony wealth is probably garbage. 20, 24,000-ish. Ah, oh, but you see, my defenses are impenetrable. Boil and die, kitty cat. Boil and die. Okay, we got one more to go. We got one more to go, but we'll be fine. We can use the fire-breathing child. Hey, fuck you, mittens, you piece of shit. Oh, well, you fucked that one up, didn't you, leech? Idiot. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no, 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 save codex. Oh, we can't run and gun. There's no running and gunning in this. This is a base game remote. Get him. Get him. Get that cat. Stab that. Stab that low-res cat. <laughs> How many people does it take to kill a cat? Come on. Ow. Right in my mech link. Are you okay? Got a lot of blows to the arm there. Oh my god. And now we've just been given flu. Zoodle's got the flu. Luckily, we have plenty of medicine. And luckily, we have Leech the doctor. You could cut that into a meal. You're the chef. You're the chef, you stupid child. It's like a little lamplight, isn't it? I did have an idea for a, a child-only playthrough in Rim Rim. But, um... I guess I'm doing it. Like, this is it right here. Come on. No, no, no. 10 with the medicine, dickhead. And 18%. 18% is actually pretty reasonable. Let's get this cleaned up. Bear in mind, Codex survived the flu, but Codex was an idiot. How are you looking? 14% immunity already. Oh, you're going to be totally fine then, huh? <gasps> Person, please. Please, I beg you. I beg you. Good social. I beg you. Tiffy. Tiffy. Tiffy! I mean, it's better than what we've got. Another sanguine person. New colony rule. We only take people who are sanguine. Welcome. Do you need tending? I think 10 hours. Oh, you're probably just straight up dead then. I can slap down a sleeping spot for you, though. Let's go, let's go, let's go, go, go. Tend, Tiffy. Tend without medicine. Hey there. Okay, you're going to be totally fine, my friend. I am going to bundle you off to prison, though, because we are desperate. We are desperate. This is the first evil... I, I, I mean... A, a, a obligatory evil thing I'm doing. You could argue that indoctrinating two children to your ideology is, um, maybe evil, I suppose. Can't convert and recruit because she's not, we, we haven't got anybody of our ideology capable of recruiting them. This is, a, this is a genuine challenge to try and even make the ideology dominant in the freaking colony at this point. Other than very slowly cracking along with uh, a lifetime's worth of research, shut that damn door. I would like to start a little bit of stone cutting so that we can make some, uh, maybe a bit less of a flammable base would be good. Beautiful, you're gonna be absolutely fine. What a good Dr. Leitch is becoming. What a legend. And now with smithing, I can build a much sharper knife for my children. <laughs> I want machining at the very bare minimum. I think the gas mask could be very good, given that we're going to have the pollution people cause a lot of problems. But do we go straight for microelectronics and just go full send? Because if I can get comms console... Oh, I can't ignore turrets, though. Yeah, but the thing is, it's going to be 1,000 for machining, 500 for gunsmithing, 500 for blowback. It's 2,500 just to get to gun turrets, whereas if we get microelectronics first, we've got to get it either way. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I'm going for it. We get microelectronics, we build a power of research bench, we do it in half the time. That's about, that's my mindset on that. Oh, God, the textures. Oh, it's so scary. Hooray! That's horrible. That's really just terrible. I mean, how else would you serve a burger other than inbred? <laughs> a lovely, solid marble wall to keep our enemies out. I'll put a door in front of it. I don't know how we're going to do defenses. I mean, we could do the usual uh, wooden door leading to barricade type situation. Auto doors really are where that shines. That's, that's kind of the only way we can do it, right? No embrasures in base game. This is looking really nice. You know, I'm happy with it. I, again, I've got nothing else to work with at this point. Throw a few fences around here and there. I mean, I might as well, given that we've got the marble. But I think a better use of the marble currently is... There's no replace stuff. No. Am I going to have to remove all of these buildings and then... Oh! 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 <laughs> oh no! Who plays this game? How can any of you play this? Oh, I never play modded Rimworld. I don't like it. What? Respect your own time! Come on now! Thank you for joining Codex's preschool for another day of Frimworld. <laughs> Tomorrow, we put the children to work in the mines so that we can get enough resources to hopefully build a high-tech research bench. Wow. And hopefully, our child will eventually break the will of this prisoner so that I can actually recruit people at a decent pace. So long, and thank you for joining me while I work on a little bit of Generations 2 in the background. Depending on how that goes, it's either going to be Generations 2 or something else if I need to delay Generations 2, which I very much might. I'm not sure quite yet. Thank you, though.
Thank you all for joining me, but unfortunately there is an issue with the Patreon names. Uh, in other news, the sky is blue and grass is green. As you live in the UK, at which point one's grey and one's brown, I'll let you figure out which. So, uh, I, I, all the names are duplicated. I'm going to have to go through the whole list and remove names manually, basically. Um, so apologies for that, but in the meantime, a thank you to Mom on Rage, Beta Soldier, Space Drake, Exodus, Flex Balls, Dart Desire, Emily, Brad So 90 Kende, Hajdu, Sweetsy, Orkansas, Drusus, Tarsus, Magnus, Optimus, Maximus, Lapis Golem, Slighter, Gogolus, Dr. Simba, Ziggy, Captain Full Send, Anatomy, an enemy of Anemones, Ghost Hawk, and Mothanius for their support. The executive producer tears over on Patreon. Well, that almost killed me. Thank you additionally to Adamski, XD, Zenmaster, Tia, Berthold, Evervigilant One, Jeepers Crust, Bumbly, Buckio, Romario, Blaticus, Ethel Red, The Undeady, Safate, Sam Harmon, Evan Stockdale, Pal Salamort, Knight Lucia, Mikey Rock, Jason R, Nikki in Wonderland, and Crowd Slayer 07. Join me tomorrow for a little more base game. Remold how long for? Probably not long. Um, uh, generations may have some issues that were unexpected, which I cannot discuss. Uh, but other than that, I will have a series ready soon. I have two brewing, so stand by.